watching Venom TV. I'm Louise Gookie, and joining me is Gaza, the collectibles guru. How you everyone. doing? Good to see you again. Yeah. And talking about collectibles and memorabilia, we've got some brilliant items in front of us. Yeah, music. You, the Beatles are love them or hate them. They're the epitome of the top of the oh. tree. And most people will know out there that the value of Beatles mm -hmm. memorabilia loosely is is phenomenal. It could be anything from a pencil to a you know, like a, a tea towel, a t-shirt, anything to do with the Beatles, highly, highly collectible. We've got some different things here that are very affordable, but are, again, very, very special. Yeah, absolutely. So let's start off with a particularly special item. It's product number 400313, and this is Paul McCartney. It's got his signature on, it's mounted, a black and white photo there. I mean, look at that, it's absolutely stunning. Great item, it really is. Beautifully, as you say, beautifully framed and everything just to ready to hang on you all. Great classic image of Paul McCartney. He's a left-handed signer, actually. Oh, okay. It's very interesting you when you, that? well, when you, well, a bit of research, you know, when you know, you, when you start to look at things, if you, you can tell just by looking at it, because if you, that's probably a bit of boring information, but if you're watching celebrities sign mm -hmm. out something, so you're right-handed and they're doing loads, they tend to go across or they go down that way. Yeah. Obviously, if you're left-handed, they tend to all go that way you know well, so if you look that go. Paul McCartney's signature is going that way and that's because he's a left-handed person it's more natural for him to sign like that it's one of the ways you can test as to whether these things are real or not you know I love that, that fact. Is, um, yeah Paul McCartney very he's very very hard to get and extremely sought after okay so this is uh, 750 pounds that just shows how rare these are yeah that's right I mean it's a sort of item you see them occasionally in some of the major auction houses mm -hmm. you know mostly the Bonhams Christmas sale and places like that or some of the big ones in the states um, but he is very very difficult to get hard to get and sometimes in some of the top charity auctions you'll see something he may have donated or something like that that somebody's don't you know has donated yeah. to the auction but always really 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 popular and the prices of Paul McCartney and anything like this is normally snapped up very very quickly all right well let's look at another item then so this is product number 400314 it's a John Lennon the vinyl framed edition again this is very special yeah there's a bit of flair there as you can see on the Let's right see um on my slightly. left um that's better yeah there we go basically what you've got here is the new set of American post office postage stamps mm -hmm. that were produced in honor of John Lennon so you've got that sheet lit there of John Lennon postage stamps so if you're in the US they are genuine postage wow you can put them on your letter and send them out. Obviously, Imagine getting that in the post. That. Yeah, <laughs> obviously wouldn't do that because it's you know yeah. it's 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 very desirable and special for a collector. Mm -hmm. They call these like collector's editions. So it really is you know something that philatelists worldwide, stamp collectors and music fans alike, and then all the millions of Beatles fans would try to get their hands on that to add to a collection. But what Benham have done with this, which is a lovely touch, is to mount it and frame it alongside an original record yeah. of John Lennon's, one of his many very, very evocative and special songs. Yeah. This one probably typified John Lennon, Happy Christmas, War Is Over. Yeah. Great song, Everyone I love hearing it, know. you know. And it, so it's, it's, it's a great item and it is an original disc. It's not a, re, a repro one, okay, that so is an original Okay, so just disc. looking at this then, our central item then, product number 400315, it is the Beatles' golden greatest picture disc. It's yeah, this. this is extremely rare, probably never see it again. This is an exact replica of a very, very small run that were produced wow. of these as a picture disc mm -hmm. and a promotional disc. Normally, they use, in, in the past, they would normally be presented to sponsors or the band okay. or the or the you know the management but they're very 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 special and they were made as promotional items wow. this is a replica of one of those okay. but again very very rare very small run and that that to me i don't like picking up but if you want to pick, you that, want up, to pick that up really quickly show, then. yeah show the back as well because on the back you've got all the songs that were on it it is an actual lp that would play but personally That's most great. of these now people will frame them up with the glass front and back and display them on the favourite wall. Amazing. So that was the Beatles' Golden Greatest Picture Disc of 400.315. That's 49.95. You've got the John Lennon vinyl frame, 400.314, 49.50. And finally then, 400.313, Paul McCartney, the signature there at £750.